Good morning, Wayne Fleet BIC Church family. My name is Julie Adams, and I serve as the Media and Communications Director. BIC Canada has prepared a Lent devotional for us to use during Holy Week. You can find the link to access that in the comments of this video. Throughout the week, different members of our staff will be reading them to you, so you can either read them yourself or follow along each morning here on YouTube or Facebook. So today I will be reading from Mark chapter 14, verses 32 through 42. They went to a place called Gethsemane, and Jesus said to his disciples, sit here while I pray. He took Peter, James, and John along with him, and he began to be deeply distressed and troubled. My soul is overwhelmed with sorrow to the point of death, he said to them. Stay here and keep watch. Going a little further, he fell to the ground and prayed that if possible, the hour might pass from him. Abba, Father, he said, everything is possible for you. Take this cup from me, yet not what I will, but what you will. Then he returned to his disciples and found them sleeping. Simon, he said to Peter, are you asleep? Couldn't you keep watch for one hour? Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. Once more, he went away and prayed the same thing. When he came back, he again found them sleeping because their eyes were heavy. They did not know what to say to him. Returning the third time, he said to them, are you still sleeping and resting? Enough, the hour has come. Look, the Son of Man is delivered into the hands of sinners. Rise, let us go, here comes my betrayer. Our holidays or holy days often remind us that love can be captured in an image. Love is Jesus our Savior, stumbling under the weight of the cruel cross on which he will be brutally tortured. And at Christmas time, love was Jesus stepping down from glory into the bleak struggle of humanity. But here in Gethsemane, this is love. Here is Jesus, overwhelmed by distress and fear, literally buckling under his own anguish. Here he straddles the threshold with desperate, whispered prayers. Jesus clutching at the neck of his papa while the story marches on toward a loss that we the readers clearly cannot fathom. What will be taken from him will be replaced with isolation, oppression, pain, and death. The opposite of everything he is and came to be. Here is where we, followers of this same Jesus, are compelled to imagine the horror and through and through good being handed over to evil, of the darkness of sin descending on the one who is uniquely sinless. What a mystery. God in ang agony, devastated by an anxiety and a grief so severe that he felt as though he might die from it. We are perplexed, even disturbed, by seeing our God this way, beside himself, overcome, weak by human standards. But this is the way of love. Here is where Jesus, the one who commanded the wind and the waves and all the powers of darkness, lays down all control and all power confessing that even now the plan can be changed, but that he will not choose to abandon it. From here, we know the story well. It accelerates into the nightmare Jesus not only feared, but foreknew, but not before resolve confronts fear and the mission comes clearly into view. We are breathless and inspired alarmingly assured of Christ's humanity and marveling at the divine laid bare. Let's close in prayer. Father, thank you for the gift of Gethsemane, 
for making these intense moments of tension, pain, and struggle a part of your story, for letting us know that you do know. As we live out this season of pandemic, as we feel so many things so very deeply, help us to trust your will, understanding your heart, experience your comfort, Give us the resolve each day to lay down what power we do have for the love of all of those around us. Amen. So after hearing this devotional, take some time to reflect on the following questions and feel welcome to read the scripture in between each question again if you wish. What word or words in the passage caught your attention today? What in this passage brought you comfort? What in this passage challenged you? After this video, you'll see a few reflective questions come on the screen. Feel free to answer them on your own, or if you care to leave us a message in the comments, you're welcome to do that too. Have a blessed day.